Mark Scarborough. The president's use of executive authority weeks after an election that saw his party defeated at the polls is highly controversial, even if it addresses what both parties agree is a broken immigration system. Uh, Mr. Obama announced three actions. First, to add additional resources at the border to stem illegal crossings. Second, make it easier and faster for skilled and educated immigrants to find a job. And third, allow several million undocumented immigrants to come out of the shadows without fear of deportation. This was Gus Rosendale is here now with details and reaction. Gus. Chuck and Sabila, the president fast to say this is not amnesty, nor is it for everyone. It does not apply to undocumented immigrants who've come here recently or those who come here in the future. And it does not grant citizenship, but does protect many people from getting deported. If you've been in America for more than five years, if you have children who are American citizens or legal residents, if you register, pass a criminal background check, and you're willing to pay your fair share of taxes, you'll be able to apply to stay in this country temporarily without fear of deportation. With support from both parties. President Obama's move to change the way America deals with many undocumented immigrants warmly received at the speech viewing party in the Flatiron District. Simon tells me he has family members who've lived in fear of deportation for years. There's a lot of broken families here in the country, actually, because of this issue. Outside the party, some opposition and a lot more on the way from the GOP. Secure the borders, and the president doesn't have the, right, the constitutional authority to do this. The president's executive order, which takes Congress out of the equation, would allow as many as 5 million undocumented workers to remain in the states, including parents of kids who were born in the U.S. Those parents could qualify for work permits, lasting three years at a time if they pass a background check, pay fees, and can prove their child was born here before the executive order went into effect. First of all, parts of it uh, by themselves I could support, but not being done by executive order. It should be part of an overall bill that's passed by the Congress. The executive order also expands the rights of dreamers, kids illegally brought into the U.S. Now they're protected if they got here before January 1st, 2010, and their age does not matter. And it allows extended stays for college graduates who have high-tech skills, something that will not be afforded to farm workers. And to those members of Congress who question my authority to make our immigration system work better, or question the wisdom of me acting where Congress has failed, I have one answer. Pass a bill. And to that end, the president said he's willing to work with Congress on a legislative solution. And again, he said his reforms do not grant undocumented workers citizenship or allow them to stay in the country permanently. They would still have to apply through normal channels to become a citizen. Reporting live, I'm Gus Rose.